Hello YouTube, Ken Hyo here with another Black Desert Online patch notes video for you here from the Korean server. I am your crystal ball into the future of BDO. Stay tuned here every Wednesday for the patch notes from the Korean server. And today is July 29, 2020. And we got the very exciting news of the release of the Hasashi no Awakening and uh, the Succession. Probably old news for those of you who follow the Korean server news and my channel. But uh, there you have it, now it's official. Uh, the Hasashin has its final forms. So we'll go over here the patch notes. And I just had a little bit of a stream here, a short stream before making this video to finish the Awakening quest. And I had a chance to explore his kit a little bit. And I gotta say, it's, it's pretty fun, pretty good. But it still does not fix my main complaints that I had with the class before which is the poor sustain. But that's topic for another video. We'll go over the Hasashin Awakening and Succession in future videos. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested, let's go through the patch notes here. And of course, the first thing is announcement of the release of the Succession here and the Awakening over here. And uh, that's pretty much it. And of course, they have events going on with it. The next thing here is a pretty cool update. And we're actually going to try this in game. I haven't tried it yet, uh, but it looks like if now you can enter the... I think they translated this as an Undying Hell or in, uh, the, the new PvP mode, the Arena mode, PvE, sorry, the new PvE mode over there in Crow's Nest. So let's check that out in game and see how that works. All right, so here we are in game with my Valkyrie. She completed the quest. She's ready to go. So if I hit escape, you gotta, apparently you got to use the new menu. There's no, I haven't found, maybe I got to, maybe I got to look better through this here. But if you go on the new menu and you go here and you have here, this is the icon for the new immortal hell thing or undying, undying something, whatever it is. And if we hit teleport, hopefully that was, that will bring us into the arena. There you go. Pretty good. I'm actually go back and try this game mode now because at least it won't take me half an hour just to traveling just to get to there and then die within 15 minutes and then have to go all the way back and now supposedly if you use the same option again you should be able to leave i don't know if there's a timer for it but we'll find out and we should be i don't know where we're going to end up hopefully we end up where we were just like the freedom island thing the the, the battle arena or whatever you know the PV, the, the training mode right, there you go so pretty good that's really really nice it doesn't fix all my issues that I had with the, with the game mode, but it's really going to help out. It's going to make me want to go try it out more. So, yeah. All right. So, continuing on here with the patch notes. Now we have the event. Not a lot of cool stuff here. We have a new uh, login reward thing here. Let's see if there's anything special. I haven't actually looked at the patch notes yet because I've been streaming until now to a few minutes ago. So, and this is all a surprise to me. It looks like a pretty standard uh login rewards here nothing special you get the accessory box at the end as usual you got some horse awakening stuff some cron stones and uh, some uh, some fancy alchemy and maybe cooking outfits oh no outfits uh utensils you got the the fancy one here the first day for cooking and then the 15th day you get a fancy one for uh alchemy I think this is the one that has like 5,000 durability by the looks of it. If I, I don't remember the name in, 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 in Korean or in English, so I don't know. But it, you know, it would be silly for them to give anything else than a special utensil on the login reward. But there you have it. You know what the, all the other icons are, so I don't need to go over those. And then you have a Hasashin uh, leveling up event for levels 58, 59, 60, and 61. And they're giving us the usual stuff, some uh, experience scrolls, some gold bars, and some enhancing mats. A skill experience scroll, more gold bars, and more enhancing mats. Loot scroll, uh, I think these, are, these are the special loot uh, experience, the advanced XP scrolls. And then more gold bars, and advice of Alex plus 50, pretty cool. And a Shakato box fantastic i'm almost at 61 already so i can claim my rewards pretty soon and hasashin uh release event as always you're coll gonna collect these through uh grinding I'm not gonna say hunting this time it's grinding it's hunting in korean but grinding gathering and fishing you can gather these boxes these uh rocks i guess and then you can call you can exchange them for for things and you can get let's see here uh tongrad belt tongrad uh, necklace tongrad so all the tongrad accessories the device of Alex plus 50 some enhancing mats and can you get in can you get an enhanced uh tongrad doesn't look like it but yeah, mostly enhanced mats some uh loot some of the xp scrolls here and some tongrad stuff 
All right, fantastic. And then you have the cursed event. I heard this is actually also happening for you guys. I heard someone is, well, at least there's there's news uh, that there will be a Netflix and Black Desert collaboration. And this quest, you start by opening your Black Spirit menu right here, and then you start a chain of quests, and you're gonna get rewards, I suppose. It doesn't say here what you're gonna get. Maybe this is what it is. There you go. Yeah, there you go. So you can uh, you can collect those uh, you get from each party event. You're gonna get these, and it says you're gonna get ten of them, I guess. And then if you save all 10, you can get this tariff box here. And inside the tariff box, you're going to find a old moon buff and come a silver blessing for seven days, both of them, and then 100 crown stones. And that's it for the event. And then you have here class changes. Only the Hasashin was changed for this time around. Probably just bug fixes and things like that. I'm not going to go over right now because honestly, I have to go to work and I don't have time. And Hasashin is not out for you guys anyways. Actually, what I'm adding later on, I'm probably, pro probably going to post a screenshot of the skill changes that I find relevant here right now somewhere at this point so that you can check it out while I'm talking. You can pause the video and, and read the class changes if Hasashin changes matter for you. I'll go ahead and put a screenshot, but I'm not going to talk about it right now because it requires uh, some research into skill names and things like that which I don't have time for right now, so let's uh, keep going. And item changes is just saying that you can now use your Hasashin, uh, the Oasis items on Hasashin Awakening. Some explanation changes. Okay, nothing great here. For now, for summer season, they're adding yet another item for the season server. All right, so it seems like this is some kind of loot scroll. They, so you get these fragments pieces here while you're grinding the season server, and you get five of them, I believe, and you can combine them to make a loot, uh, a boss summoning scroll. And then you can, if you defeat, it's like it's somewhat like a wave of monsters, if I read it correctly, and then you get the season server enhancing stones. You can get the purple stones. The let you enhance, you can get the, the ores to let you buy extra pieces, or you can get the other things to force you to uh, you know, force try, or force do, or force try, that kind of stuff. Just the, the enhancing resources for uh, for season server. And it seems like they did what I've always wanted them to do, which is they added a, it looks like, let's, let's try this out in game, but it looks like they added the ability to change uh, they put a season server in a different cooldown. Let's check this out. This is exciting news. All right, so here I, here I am with my season server character, my Hasashin character. So if we change now into season server two. All right, so here we are in the season server two server. And now if I want to go back. Oh, see, there's a different icon, a cooldown icon here for the season server. So now if I want to su switch into another season server, server, it gives me, or channel, it gives me the cooldown mark here. But can I change here? Oh my god, this is beautiful. Fantastic. Good job, Pearl Abyss. But yeah, Pearl Abyss, good job on this one. Uh, we got a good patch here. We got uh, more ways to get your enhancing materials in the season server. We got uh, Hasashin Awakening and Succession. We got the teleport entrance to the Moro Arena thing and the Undying Hell thing. And then now we got the reset, uh, the, the different ti uh, cooldown timers for changing channels on the season server. That's amazing. Good job right there. All right, so the rest of the season server notes here is just adding the Hasashin new uh, gear stuff you know, for the Awakening uh, into the season server choices and, and, and uh, early graduations and things like that. And then you have some other stuff here. We have uh, these looks like some quests for Valencia area. I think these are the, the little drops that you get for, for quests. Uh, they're all in Valencia. We have uh, Akman. I think this is Sulfur Mines, I believe. And then Histria. And Pilaku. Ah, the quest that we're going to give you Yona Fragments, apparently. From these uh, locations here. So, okay. Says here Yona Fragments. Alright, cool. Do some more quest changes. Okay. And, uh, what is this? Is this a new boat? Wow, just changed the color to red. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> and then you, oh yeah, they redid really the UI. The UI is looking all funky. Let's check that out in game real quick here. All right, so yeah, so here's here we are in the game, and uh, I think the menu, the main, the main change they made is in the settings menu. Now they er, they organize it like this. It looks all different. Uh, kind of uh, gonna take me a while to adjust. They redid the little uh, radio menus. Now they're like this. Actually, they were check marks before. Whatever. You know, these menus, uh, they are all looking different. Don't know if it's better. Don't know if it's worse. I guess it's these options are easier to to see what they are now. But anyway, it's not gonna really affect the gameplay. Just looking different here on that configuration UI. So go have a blast with that. 
And with that all the way, let's jump into the cash shop. My beautiful Hasashin Tin Man here. I have not bought any costumes for him, but we can check out the costumes in game here. You have uh, the Succession costume here. Looking very nice as always, showing off all the chests. If you have any tattoos in the chest, it might be a nice time. Uh, it be a nice time to show. You have a nice uh, wolf. Is that a wolf? Detail in the back here, a cat on no, the no, shoulder. I don't know. It looks like uh, some kind of animal, maybe a cat, uh, something like that. We have here a snake on his head, snakes on his head, and a hair extension here, looking fantastic. If you're into hair extensions, now you can have one in BDO. Nice uh, bright reddish sword here. I like the handle looks like a musket, kind of like a like a shot, like a you know, a fire arm. Oh, look at the detail here on the. Nice, looking good. The particles could look nicer, I think, but uh, the sword itself looks pretty nice. You're wearing sandals here, you know, you gotta stay uh, comfy in the desert. And I like how they're adding uh, for his succession bundle, they're asking, they're adding a piece for you to, uh, for the compass, so that you can go play Hasashi in the desert, as you're supposed to, because he runs a lot faster. I'm sure you've seen my video showing the Hasashi speed. And then you have the other costume here. This is the Awakening, looking very nice. This weapon looks beautiful. This outfit in, gen in general looks very nice too. Not a big fan of the top piece here, so I would probably switch that out. But it's a snake. You can see here, it's, it wraps around the snake and it has one head of the snake here on this arm and another head. Stop moving. On uh, the other arm here. Pretty cool. So it's like a double-headed snake or maybe there's supposed to be two snakes. I don't know. And then you have a nice... Cool hairstyle here is his helmet, I suppose. Looking really nice. Pretty cool outfit for the... I think I like uh, the Awakening more than the Succession for some reason. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's check the new tab. We got... Uh, that's pretty much what we just saw here. We got a Hasashi and Gilly suit. I think this was here last week, maybe? I don't know. I, 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 maybe, maybe this is new. I, I know they had different Hasashi outfits. Uh, but uh, maybe not this one. And then you got, in the, at least in Korea, in the loyalty shop, they added the shark costume and uh, the horse riding costume for 20,000 loyalty coin thingies, point thingies. Uh, it doesn't... Before in Korea, we used to have these, but it used to be time limited. Here, I'm not seeing any time limit, so there might be a time limit. They may not. Uh, by the way, our, our, our loyalty shop is different from the lands of non-korea loyalty shops so i wouldn't be too worried about that they also added these uh what is this oh loot scroll for loyalty 50 percent loot chance for 600 loyalties no kidding i might uh i might i might try i might buy some of these to go get my potion pieces if i if i if i may and is this a life skilling thing yeah life skill grinding all these are for the loyalty shop the new and improved well the new and revised uh, loyalty shop in korea all right is that, that's uh i think that's it there's no made there's no there's a made on sale still here uh, let me let's just let me uh double check that the tent is indeed not on sale there's always hope you know what i'm saying where's the tent yeah still not on sale still cost a fortune but yeah looks like that's gonna be it for today's patch notes for this week's patch notes uh stay tuned for my first impressions on the awakening and a succession for the hasashin should be coming out this week at some point and then stay tuned a little bit after that for my guides uh, at least leveling up in pve guides you guys know i don't do a lot of pvp but uh, you can expect the pve overview and other skills and some kind of guide coming up in the future before uh, the hasashi release in the west or in the lands of non-korea but yeah as always if you liked the video and thought it was informative i would appreciate if you could hit the like button and if you want to see more video content from me don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also come join our Discord community and our Twitch streams. Links for those are down below. And uh, that's going to be it for me from now. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.